Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I have not vlogged since Ramadan, and I'm so sorry. I have just been pregnant. <laughs> I have been so tired and exhausted. Also, we were busy with house stuff and filming some sponsorships for like Instagram and stuff. And I just, also Emily was gone for a week. So I was just, I don't know, last week was just crazy. But anyways, I'm really excited because today I am getting ready to go on our baby moon tomorrow. We decided to finally just plan a weekend trip. We originally weren't gonna go anywhere because we did our Umrah trip and not that we were like considering that a baby moon but at the time I was like I don't want to leave Elena again like that was really hard for me to be gone for that long without her but I have just been like so stressed so mentally not well during my pregnancy me and Omar were like I think it would be a really good idea for us to just go for like a weekend so we're going for three nights to Cabo I know we go there all the time but it's just one of our favorite places to just go and we know that we like the restaurant so we can go relax and another thing that we're really excited about is that a man Amanda and Muhammad are actually already there at the same hotel. Sadly, our dates only align one night, so we're gonna go out to dinner with them the night we get there, and then probably breakfast the next day with them, and then that'll be it. I'm just excited that I get to see her there at all. I actually just got out of an OB appointment. I am so happy, and I'm gonna go treat myself to a little iced coffee now because i think i mentioned this in the last vlog but the baby was breached a couple weeks ago today the doctor told me that he is head down which alhamdulillah i think i was just literally freaking out for no reason because he was considerably smaller a couple weeks ago and had a lot more room to just flip around which he was doing he was constantly flipping the doctor even said he still has room and he still might keep flipping around and i'm still a little early at 33 weeks whenever i look it up most babies should be head down at this point so i'm just like okay inshallah he stays this way and i don't have to worry about it i'm gonna go grab me a little drink may just grab it at target because i need to get a couple of things from there for my trip and then we're gonna go home and pack got what I needed I just needed like body wash and a couple other things I wanted to tell you guys what I got from Starbucks because I've been loving this coffee recently it's a decaf ice almond milk vanilla latte with cinnamon on top it's just been like my go-to and so yummy a little bit later I have all these dresses that I laid out to pack I'm not gonna bring all these first of all because we're only going for three nights so literally don't need this many dresses second of all because I do not fit in these I just got this gorgeous dress from Ivy City can't even zip it up got this beautiful dress actually a couple months back thinking like what if I go on a baby moon from Nasty Gal because it has like a higher waistline I think the black one's still available I can link it down below but the white is sold out Anyways, couldn't zip this one up either. We are planning on bringing a couple of items from my drop collection. This is a bump friendly dusty blue maxi dress, which we will be announcing the launch date for this collection very, very soon. I'm gonna bring the floral one from my collection just because I love it so much. It's not like super bump friendly, but since there's elastic in the back, it fits still. So we're kind of like on the edge. I cannot wait to wear it, so I'll have to bring it. This is a veiled collection, a really simple straight cut dress. I just really like the color and the texture of it. I thought it'd be pretty if I need to like, I don't know, throw something on cute, go to breakfast or something. I'm gonna bring a couple of like stretchy dresses, including the dish one that I can pair with sandals. And then also my drop collection wrap dress too. I'm also gonna bring the nude dress from my Ivy City collection. This is the dress that fits me the best out of all of them, just because it's got a stretchy waist. It's a high waist. I'm really excited to wear this one. We are restocking this one very soon. They texted me the other day and said that it should be coming in a couple weeks, but we don't have the exact date on this yet. But keep your eyes on my Instagram for me to announce the restock on these dresses. We're restocking the white nude dress and then the green Lena dress. That's for dresses. For accessories, I'm going to be bringing this woven bag from Amazon. Literally the best spring summer bag. I'm going to make this my like airport bag as well. And just kind of like beach bag and just like my bigger tote bag that I'm bringing with me. For like cute dinner purses. I also found this little cult Gaia dupe from Amazon which I'm so excited about it's so stunning and it does fit my phone and like any essentials that I might need it's not really the most practical bag ever but it's super cute also little designer dupes and I need to just decide which color I'm bringing I'm thinking the the white just because I feel like that will match better 
Hmm, this would also look good. So I'm gonna decide between those two. For sandals, I am bringing comfy slip-on, super low heel and flats. All of this is designer dupes. These are some Dior dupes from Steve Madden that I just recently got. I can link these down below. They also come in a black, which let me show you how cute. They don't fit the vibe of what I'm which they kind of would, but I just don't feel like I need to bring both. You know, that's just like a little excessive. I'll link these down below for you guys. These are so cute. These I got last year from Vince Camuto. Just some cute, like woven, super low block heels. I'm not about anything that I need to put straps on or buckles or he like super high heels right now. It's not for me. <laughs> so I think those are like the main like nice outfits that I'm bringing for like dinners and like out to lunch, photo ops and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on a time lapse and we will finish packing. We actually just saw Amanda and Muhammad, but we're yeah. gonna freshen up a little bit and meet them down for lunch. I have to tell you guys, I'm sure Amanda, I don't know if she's vlogging, so we'll tell y'all. Muhammad finessed them this amazing upgrade, and then they went ahead and helped us get an upgrade too. <laughs> I have to show you guys our room. It is beautiful. Here's the front door. So this is like the living room when you first walk in. Just so pretty. There's a little half bath. Here's the TV on this side. You walk into the bedroom. Here's the view, which is so pretty. We're staying at the Viceroy, which we've stayed here a couple times and we love this hotel. Look at this bathroom, you guys. It is beautiful. Oh, I cannot believe that they did this for us. I'm so excited. And we are 33 weeks about to be 34 we were talking about how i could not have waited any longer did you the baby moon like this was like the last week probably before it was just gonna be like too much for me and like not the safest i don't know i feel like maybe after 36 weeks i probably wouldn't have traveled but since i'm like not high risk and stuff i feel comfortable doing it Don't forget about, don't forget about this guy too. <laughs> we got our chips and guac, we got our taco fish tacos. Yeah. And we are I just finished getting ready. Amanda was in the room and Omar went to their room to go hang out with Muhammad for a little bit and it was so fun like just catching up with Amanda. Yeah. I'm so sad that she is leaving tomorrow. Like, I know, I wish they were staying. I wish we overlapped a little bit more. We are staying the same amount of days but they got here like a couple days earlier so yeah. they just this was our only night to align. So we're getting ready. We're, well, we're about to leave to go down and meet them for dinner. We're going to a restaurant we've never been to before. And I look very handsome, Omar. Thank you, you look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's, I guess we'll just go ahead and go down because actually I need to pray first. Yeah. And then we'll go down. That's not part of my outfit. Pretty sure there is a wedding happening or something. How pretty is this? We came down to the water at this beautiful restaurant. <laughs> the boys are taking some pictures together. Me and Amanda just got some content, but it's so gorgeous. This is the Montage Resort. And this is so, so pretty. Look at that. Amanda, I mean not Amanda, Muhammad and Omar are gonna be up too. Mm -hmm. 
This should give you a hint. But me and Amanda are gonna order room service and we're gonna chill. We're all cozy. We got ready to bed and we ordered dessert and yes. tea. We got churros, <laughs> we got mango sorbet. And mint tea. Ooh, that sounds so good. I'm so excited. slept in which is actually nice because the time change I think we we're like two hours behind over here yeah. so at home we actually slept in until nine which I never get to do Elena never <laughs> sleeps in until we never nine. sleep past seven at home like 738 is like her max that's not too early but you know I, sometimes I want to sleep in so nice we had such a good night with Amanda and Muhammad last night yeah. we just chilled and ate dessert and tea and just caught up and it was I just miss her so much they left this morning and Omar and I are about to go have breakfast but I thought I would just go ahead and end this vlog I'm really gonna try to just soak up the rest of this trip we only have two more full days today and tomorrow and then we leave Monday I hope that you guys enjoyed coming with me on a little bit of our trip and packing and all that stuff and I will see you guys when we get back home bye Thank you.